Hey guys, this is Brent J coming at you with another video. First and foremost, I want to tell you guys that I'm starting a new channel. Um, so please subscribe to my channel, Studio Geeks. Um, the details for that will be in the description below. So please make sure you subscribe to that. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos, um, a lot better quality, and it's really going to help you guys out. So today we're going to talk about flex time in Logic Pro, okay? So flex time is when, well, I use flex time when I want to align my vocals. Now there's a vocal plugin out there called Vocaline that you can use for this. However, with flex time, you are in more control. You can manually align which vocals, which notes or whatever that you want to um, align with each other. So to activate that, we're just going to go here to the control area and we're going to click this thing right here where my mouse where my mouse is and it looks like a wave file like a crisscross wave file here and we're just click that it turned blue that means it's on all right we're going to work on the bridge we have a main vocal here and a dub okay so we want to make sure for flex timing vocals we are on mono monophonic okay and you have to be on monophonic on both of them Okay, so once you put those vocals that you selected on monophonic, you're going to see a lot of these lines pop up on the wave file. Those lines are called anchors, all right? And anchors are what you're going to be using to actually move these vocals around. Now, you can also create anchors if they aren't there by just simply clicking where you want to create an anchor, okay? Now, let's analyze this file just by looking at it and we're just going to zoom in and try to find the um find the files that's not aligned good now i already pre-aligned um the first bridge so this shouldn't be too bad here now we just look at it like this one is almost perfect, you know? It looks perfect to me. I don't see anything, uh, okay, off about it. And that's probably because I uh, was doing some aligning earlier. So let me go to the next bridge over and see if uh, anything could be done here. All right, here we go. Now, it's offset. So this is the main vocal. This is the dub. What I'm going to do is, look, it starts later than the main. So I'm just going to pull this up. Boom. Done. Going to look. Scroll through the rest of the vocals here. This one drags out. This note drags out longer than the primary. So I drag that back to shorten it up. Done. On to the next note. That looks good. That looks good. This one needs to be a little bit longer and you can zoom in however you want to zoom in this is a good right here so um this looks like a breath that's off you can even align the breaths up if you want to i'm going to create an anchor somewhere uh, right here is fine and there we go um this note is longer than the primary so let's shorten that bad boy up boom that looks good Let's zoom in here a little bit. And this is not the only way you can align vocals. You know, this is just one of the ways I'm showing you. This is the way I actually use, though. I'm actually going to leave that together like that. The dub is shorter right here in this area. Now this is going to drag out. And you just go through all your vocals like this. The downside to this is that it is time consuming, but you know, for perfection, it's worth it to me, you know, um, especially if you don't have vocal line, um, it's worth it. And like I said, um, vocal line is a cool plugin and all, but it's kind of cool to be able to manually choose, you know, note by note, uh, what you want to align and how you want it to sound. Oh, great. So I was waiting for this to pop up. 
Now, sometimes when you do this, you might get a pop-up that says, do you really want to create a high-speed section? The red section is time compressed by factor eight, which may cause system overloads in a multi-track project. Click cancel to undo this edit, otherwise you may want to freeze the track at some point. Basically, it doesn't like where I tried to um, anchor it, um, where I tried to move it, okay? Because it's basically what it's eventually doing is flexing that area too much and it's causing it to speed up, which we don't want. So you can also remove anchors by just putting your mouse over an anchor, scrolling up, you'll see an X right here, click it and remove it, you know? So now I can stretch that out. So this thing is really cool. It really makes the vocal sound really nice and and um, together and and you know almost perfect. You know if that's the sound you're looking for. So looks like I'm almost about done here um, with this section. Let's see. I'm gonna pull this back. Yeah, when you see it turns red, that means you know I ain't get out of that area. Let's remove this anchor. Pull this back. And it's almost just like piecing this thing together, man. You know, getting it to sound the way you want it to sound. Let's listen to this section and see what I did. Alright, so it sounds like my eye is off. And make sure you guys use the loop feature to just help you out. Pull that back. Perfect. And this is something that, yeah, you, you will have to eventually. You got to just keep doing it until you get used to it. Um, when you're first starting this out, I do recommend, you know, just try it. And um, save a copy of your project just in case you mess something up. And uh, include your audio files with that save because... You don't want to mess up your song trying to experiment with this if you don't know what you're doing. Okay, when I first started, I was kind of messing things up. But now I'm good. I'm good to go. So um, let's listen to the first section so you can kind of hear. All right. You hear that? That's almost perfect. <laughs> Let me listen to this section over here. You can hear the difference. Listen. You hear the, the offset time. Listen to that and then listen how perfect this is. And that gives you a really nice stereo sound when you, when you pan it. But that's it for today, guys. Any questions, uh, inquiries, or if you want me to mix or master a record, just hit up www.studiogeeks.net. And if you have any you know, questions about anything, just hit me up, and I'll try my best to uh, answer it or make a video addressing it. Um, you guys have fun out there, and make good music. See you guys later, man.